Are you a data science beginner looking to enhance your skills by working on projects? If you don't know where to start, follow our new series where you can work on a real life data science project from scratch until deploying it into production. By the end, you'll know the pathway for completing data science projects and ready to practice on your own. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Justin. Welcome to Just Into Data, where data science materials are shared and made simpler for you. In this first video of the series, let's start from step one, brainstorming the idea of your project. We all know that working on projects is critical to getting into the data science field. During the process, you can apply the techniques you learned, as well as pick up new useful skills. And when you have a good project, you can put it on your resume to impress your future employers. So here are a few things to consider to narrow down your ideas. What's the industry you want to work in? Maybe you want to work in the financial field. Then maybe a stock market problem could be a good project for you. If you don't have a specific industry in mind, you can start with something you're personally interested in, such as travel, sports, or social science. Also, what's the skill you want to demonstrate? Python is one of the most in-demand skills for data scientists, according to our Indeed job posting analysis. I'll put a link to our analysis in the description below. So I'll be using Python throughout the series. And what are the data science techniques you want to show? For beginners, I would suggest working on basic regression or classification problems first, before moving on to advanced topics such as deep learning. Next, based on the questions you've answered earlier, it's time to get a detailed idea of the project. Maybe you have a specific problem you'd like to work on, but keep in mind that it can be very challenging to find the right data for it. So I would recommend to look for the available data sets and then think about what problem you can answer based on such data sets. Here are a few main resources to grab data. The easiest one to get is open data sets. One very good source is Kaggle. So let's go to the Kaggle datasets page. I'll put the link in the description. So let's see, what are the popular datasets? We can see a variety of datasets here. For example, I can click on this first one, heart attack analysis. This is a dataset you can use to predict the chance of a heart attack of patients, which is a classification problem. We can click on the code tab and you can see many posts of other people's work. So you can get lots of ideas on how you can work on this dataset. As you can see, Kaggle is a great source for finding datasets to learn data science, but it might not be so good for showing potential employers. For example, this particular dataset of heart attack is very popular. It could be used by many other candidates, so the employers could have seen the same dataset being mentioned in the resumes many times. So it doesn't look impressive for them at all. Plus, they might know there's lots of existing code to copy, so it's hard to judge whether you completed most of the work yourself. So to summarize, if you're looking for datasets to only practice skills, Kaggle is a great source. If you're looking to impress your future employers, there are better options. For example, you can go to your local government website to look for a more unique public dataset. Besides these open datasets that are easier to grab, there are other ways to retrieve data. One good way is to use the API application programming interface of a website. For example, you can check out this tutorial where we grab data from Yelp and Twitter through their APIs. I'll put a link in the description below. When an API is not available, web scraping is a potential way to collect data as well. You can check out our basic tutorial on how to start web scraping in Python, which I'll put the link as well. So here is how I brainstormed the idea for this project series. I want to work on something that I'm interested in and has relatively easy to access data. So I picked sports, perhaps NBA basketball games, since the games are going on right now. And a typical thing people would be interested in a game is to predict the winner. So I'll do a classification problem. With the NBA games winner prediction problem, I can show you the general steps of working on a project end to end. From collecting data, cleaning and exploring, maybe feature engineering, of course, modeling with hyperparameter tuning and evaluating the prediction results. To make it even more fun and practical, I'm also planning on deploying the final model into production 
and depending on the final results, I might make a web application backed by the model as well. If you can build an end-to-end -end project like this, you can show your future employers that you're well prepared for the whole process of data science, and they may click on the link in your resume to play around with the final app you've made. Throughout the process of this project, I'll demonstrate how I approach the problems and how I find solutions to them. So you can either follow along with my project or pick up ideas on how to work on your own projects. Now, turning it over to you, have you come up with an idea for your project? Feel free to share it in the comments below. In the next video, we'll start to collect the NBA games data using Python. Did you learn something new in this video? If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below this video right now. If you're interested in more data science tutorials and courses, please head over to their website, justintodata.com. Thank you and see you in the next video.